Welcome, in front of me is the Honor 9X Lite and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of this phone. So when you boot it up for the first time you should be presented with a welcome screen right over here and all you need to do is find your desired language. I'll be sticking with English but as you can see there is a plethora of other languages to choose from. Once you have selected your language click on get started and then select your region. Again just as before find it from the list. Now next page we have the most uh, important part of the setup which is terms of use obviously this is not important to you but it is important to the manufacturer which doesn't like to be held accountable to basically anything now obviously we need to select that you have read and agreed to those and then we can select next now without actually confirming that you will never be able to use this device so from here we have insert sim card so this step is completely optional, you can do so if you want to, and you can also skip it. Now by skipping it you will lose, uh, or by skipping this page and also Wi-Fi connection, you'll lose the ability to log into your Google account, and also date and time won't be set automatically. So this is strictly for like uh, network connection, that's why it pops up with here, with this message right here. Next page, it should be the Wi-Fi connection, I guess after this. Now we have uh, data import option, as you can see right here, and we can import our data from a couple different devices. We have Android, iPhone, iPads, Huawei, and Google Backup. So obviously for things like the Google Cloud Backup and Huawei Cloud Backup, you will need to connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, for things like iPhone and uh, Android, uh, this will require you to download an application on the older device. Assuming, uh, as an example for Android, if it's not a Huawei device, you will need to download it if it is, it will use the same kind of application, which is something like phone clone, I think. And from there, once you connect these two devices, I can just kind of transfer over the data that you want to, which you will have the option to select what you want to transfer. Uh, now by selecting next, you set it up as new without transferring anything. And here's the network connection page, so obviously you can connect to your Wi-Fi if you want to, and if you don't want to connect to anything, you can just simply skip it. This will bring us to Google services. So here we have services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now briefly going into all of these, location is just a GPS tracking, scanning allows the device to look for uh, signals like a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and sending user and diagnostic data allows Google to spy on you. Now next page we have device protection. So here we can set up some kind of screen lock. Uh, that can be a face recognition or pen pattern or password. Now, if you're planning to use a face recognition, you will always be also required to set up some kind of physical uh, way to unlock the device, like pin pattern password. Uh, because if something happens to your uh, face or maybe the camera, the camera can't unlock uh, or detect your face, you would literally lose the access to your device. So uh, having a physical way of unlocking the device will allow you to still access your phone. Now for this I'll be just setting up a pattern right here. Now by default it opts into a six digit pin, so I'll change the unlocking method to pattern. We can draw the pattern, repeat it, select done, and it is now set. Set uh, password set. Uh, now once you set up your screen lock, it automatically also asks you if you want to set up face recognition, so I'll be skipping that. Now we have enhanced services, so you can read exactly what these enhanced services do. If you don't like them, you can set, what is it, enable all services or set up enhanced services or no thanks. There we go. So I'm just going to select no thanks. Uh, use uh, experience improvement programs. Again, you can sign up for them or not. We'll be selecting later. Huawei location services. Uh, keep your software up to date. Uh, so this is just an update, automatic or manual. So I'll be selecting manual. And from there, we are done with the setup. So this is how you could go through the setup of this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.